Hello and welcome again to one of these showcase videos of my games. Uh, because I have updated the game, I just uh, posted a video uh, a day ago called uh, Forbidden Desert, which is a uh, <laughs> not Forbidden Desert, Forbidden Jungle, which is a <laughs> roll and ride game. Uh, I made some changes that gonna probably improve the whole experience and it's gonna make the game more challenging and some actions were not used that much so and I'm gonna explain what the changes are and I'm gonna play it again few rounds so people that were watching the first video could also see how that now works everything uh, with the changes so first thing that I have changed is uh, if you remember the sacred stone tracks that's how many sacred stones you can find I lowered that to five so now basically if you go up over the six you will not get any additional points but if you manage to find five uh, sacred stone you're gonna get 12 points also these gold nuggets that can be discovered in the river using th this action with a dice value of five or more now have a more points and they need to be filled from left to right so when you find the first one you get the four points then you get the eight points then you get the wild card which you can use in your tableau when you trying to open these uh, temples lastly you can get a new dice and that's a permanently so you're always gonna have one additional dice I can copy one of these if I, if I need to and if you fill up to here you're gonna get 12, 20 points which is really good so if you probably want to go for these gold nuggets uh, butterflies now you can get uh, three collection of two and each is worth eight so yeah there are also good amount of points in the butterflies there are some changes in points here uh, king and aces are now different uh, value of points this goes from 10, 15, 20 to 25 now, if you get like 4 of the same kind. And now you can also get points for the uh, volcanoes. So if you draw 3 volcanoes, you're gonna get 16 points. But the downside is that volcanoes can erupt. And uh, before, in my previous video, I was explaining like if you have a volcano here, and it, if it's erupt, it's gonna go like this like into orthogonal adjacent but now they're working like this they're gonna erupt on all these so basically it's gonna make all all of this like uh, it's gonna destroy that much of your terrain and if you happen to be on this one of these spaces you're gonna lose one heart now when the terrain is uh, destroyed it's not like impossible or anything you can still walk over to destroy terrain just like uh, let's say you have a jungle here and it's destroyed by the by the volcano you just cross the terrain like this so you can still move in you, you just can't use these actions when you're on that terrain uh, of course uh, since there are some terrain scoring involved uh, like if you lose some uh, of your villages like if you have like three or more villages connected uh, if they are destroyed of course you're gonna get lo lose that scoring the rest of the actions and stuff I didn't change so only some additional options some uh, changes in the scoring also here's the new uh, table of goals uh, one change is here before it says explore two village of size two or bi uh, bigger now it's three or bigger so basically you need two big villages uh, and of course now you need to score really larger amount of points because you know you're getting more points here so you this is possible because I, I tested and I actu actually managed to score 264 points so it is possible to go over the 240 <laughs> with, the, with the new pointing system all right so now that we know all the changes mm, I'm just gonna and uh, say one few more changes like for instance before in my playthrough when you select this action uh, you could like either draw a card or not well now if you select this action you always have to draw a card so basically you, you can you draw one 
at least. And then you can use dice to draw more. So for instance, uh, also if I have a dice of value of one, it's it is not it's not going to affect this because like I if I I already draw one, so I can use a dice. I can't use the dice one to draw additional one, but I can use the larger dices. For instance, I can use a four to draw four instead of one card when you even you explore jungle or river or mountains. All right, so let's do the quick playthrough. I'm going to play just few rounds. Uh, this um, icons on the edges are changed a bit. I forgot to tell that uh, this earthquake, before it was working, it just destroyed, ter uh, destroyed terrain wherever you want. But now it's actually when you have an earthquake, you take one damage and it's going to destroy the, the terrain where you're standing. So it's going to basically target you. So you need to watch for that. So yeah, game can be cut short if well there is a chance you can deal with that as i said if you have a sacred stone on the on the map and you go there and spend a six you can actually cross out some of these so for instance you can you can cross out uh, all of the one type so for instance i can just cross out all, all of these uh, earthquakes and then i don't need to worry about earthquakes anymore and of course as a bonus if the event cube lands on the earthquake and it can't do that event you're just gonna take the event dice as always all right so let's roll our dice let's start again oh wait before i that i need to do a setup so yeah i need to shuffle these cards and basically place four of these uh ooh, this is a good spot four of these um, treasures in each temple as you know this marks this is a treasure for the temple of the clubs treasure for the temple of the diamonds below we're gonna have a tem temple of spades and up here we're gonna have temple of hearts or heart all right uh, then we draw three cards to see what's going to be our goals so we draw three from left to right and we look at the goals from left to right so this four we look in the exploration goal Number four, four, I need to fill the villagers track. Okay, so basically this track here needs to fill all the way up. Uh, my second temple goal is to open one temple. Well, that's going to be easy. And my third sc final score goal, I need to score at least 150 points. Well, I'll, I'll have to work for that, for that one. All right, and these cards are out of the game, so they are not part of the... Uh, temple keys deck okay so let's start as always we roll all the dice and resolve the event first so the event dice is going to move one this give me option to draw a jungle whenever wherever i want hmm. i mean i have to do that i can cancel that if i scratch one of my lucky charms but uh, actually this is one of the good events so i'm not going to do that all right so let's uh, let's draw a jungle well since i can draw it whenever i want and i'm looking at this uh, uh diamond temple i see there's a uh, lots of kings have, uh, i mean two two aces and a king that's a good amount of points so i want to build a little path there so i think i'm gonna draw my first jungle here here's the jungle and as, as you know, when you draw a jungle, you cross out one because one of the jungle is explored. And then I have an option to draw a card. I mean, I have to draw a card, but I have an option. And this, because I use the event, this dice is gone. I have an option to use some of the dice to replace the number of one. One card that I'm going to draw. So I can use three and, and draw three cards. Of course, the more cards you draw, the faster you're going to shed this deck and when this deck have to be reshuffled you lose one heart so you need to watch for that but i'm thinking actually to use the two and draw two cards so let's see i'm as i as you know with the jungle i'm looking for the clubs no clubs there that goes to this card and no clubs there this card sadly no clues for for me this time but i'm gonna use this two to draw another jungle because I can use any dice I want and now I, I need to draw it 
uh, adjacent orthogonally to my campsite. I think I'm gonna draw one here. Here's another jungle. So one more jungle explored. And again, I can spend either dice to draw three cards or draw only one card. Well, I'm thinking actually to draw only one card. So let's see. Oh, eight of clubs. And as you know, clubs must go from the lower to higher card. So this should be like an ending card in my tableau of five cards. But if I don't put it in the tableau, and I draw the key that I need, it goes to my hand, as you know. So from my hand, I can use it to buy some dice, or if I have a two cards, I can actually take one card from here and turn it into the wild one, just flipping it, and it can be anything I need. So I think I'm going to keep this. That's not bad, and I'm going to use this three. I'm going to use this three to draw one river, because as, as you can see, for the river, I need three or more on a dice. So let's draw a river... Hmm... Let's draw a river here. And here's the river. One river explored. And now I'm going to draw one card for the river. We are looking for the diamonds. No. No diamonds there. Okay. Second round. This goes really fast when you know what you're doing. So the event's going to move three spaces. One, two, three. Elephant. Elephant's going to run. Lucky for me, I was not on he in his way. So I'm not going to take damage. Since I, since the event didn't do anything, basically, I wasn't there, I can actually take this dice and use it as my dice. I can also buy one more dice if I want to. And don't forget, I have one reroll. So for instance, if I buy a dice, add it now and do a reroll, I can do get all kind of stuff. But I'm going to keep this card. I think this is four dice is quite nice. And let's see, what do I want to reroll? Uh, I'm looking at the action for the river. On the river I can get some gold nuggets. And now they are really powerful. So I'm thinking I should go for that. But for that I need a f dice of 5 or more. So I think I'm going to just reroll all of these dice. Oh, there's a 5. Okay, sadly I have to use one dice to move. I can move up to 3 spaces because I use the dice of 3. I'm going to move on the river. Then I'm going to spend this 5 and do a location action because I'm on the river. I'm going to get one of these gold nuggets. I got one of the with the worth of 4. That's nice. And then I have two more dice. Uh, now I can draw some more river and I'm actually thinking to do that also because I draw a river I can I can oh wait I didn't draw a river I do I, I just done the action but I'm gonna draw a river now so I'm gonna use this tree to draw a river here now I can draw it here because it's orthogonally now adjacent to the spot where I am so I, I just uncover another river and I can draw one card or I can draw three cards I'm gonna actually draw only one card Looking for the diamonds. No diamonds, sadly. Alright, then I'm gonna spend another three to draw another river. And I'm gonna draw it here. As you know, if I manage to build one large river that's like going from occupying the one column or one row, I'm gonna score two points for each river in, uh, that is uninterrupted by other terrain. So, since there are seven spaces here I can score 14 points just drawing large river all right so I'm drawing card looking for the diamonds still no diamonds but now I, I actually have some knowledge probably I'm gonna ha get some diamonds by now I mean <laughs> if we'll see all right I spend all my dice we go to the next round All right, so the event's gonna move four. One, two, three, four. Now, if I had any volcano, it would erupt, but I don't have any, which means I got the dice from the event. Nice for me. Hmm. But I have an idea. But I don't know, should I do it? Let me think about this. 
I definitely want to draw some more rivers, but I need to move for that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because I want to open up. I really want to open up this temple. So I'm basically the more river rivers I draw, the more cards I can draw. So I'm gonna use one to move here, and I'm gonna use four to draw a river. I can do that three or more, and another river is gonna be here. So I'm filling the river track now. <laughs> If I focus too much to open the temple, I mean, I just need to open one temple, I'm going to probably forget that I have to uh, fill the villager track. So this is one of my goals, which I'm not doing right now. This is the second goal, and this is, uh, let's see, if, oh yeah, 150 points. So I'm not drawing any villages, I, and I should, but I need fives for that. But that's okay. So I draw a river, I add it here. Now I'm gonna use a dice of value of four to draw four cards and I hope I'm gonna get some uh, diamonds. So four cards, one, oh, I see some diamonds. All right, so these two are not usable for me, but these two are, let's see, diamonds must go from higher card to lower, which means it, it would be good if I start with 10. I'm gonna take this 10, now, this is also the card I can take, but I don't want to add this into my tableau because going from 10 to 3, then me, which means I next must be 2, or I can use some wild ones, you know, wild cards to, to, to finish it. I don't want to do that. I'm actually going to take this card into my hand. Let me check. So now I, ha I have an option. I can always use these cards to buy a dice, or I can use two cards, and when I see something, I can actually turn one of these cards into the wild one. Hmm, and you know what? I'm gonna actually do that right now. So I'm gonna spend these two cards. They're gonna go to this card. And then I can take any card. Of course, any of these cards. I can't take the ones that I just discarded. Any of these ca cards can be wild one. And let me think. I think I'm gonna take three. Three of hearts. Just flip it. And now... It can be anything so basically this can be nine right now so ten nine i'm starting to build my tableau uh, from higher to the lowest lowest card all right this goes to the discard and i still have one more dice <sighs> with this dice i can draw a mountain and i might do that i might do that but i'm not gonna do that Actually, I'm going to use this dice to move on the event track. I'm going to move 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, my explorer doesn't activate these events. I'm just looking for this stuff. Regular terrain. That's the only thing I can use. So, jungles, rivers, uh, mountains, and sacred stones, but uh, uh, and villages. But there are no any villages that I can actually discover this way. For the villages, you really need to work hard. All right. Let's roll again. So four. This will move four. One, two, three, four. All right. So this means I need to draw a one unpassable terrain. Well, I'm going to do that. I can always place it somewhere in one of the coordinates where it's not going to bother me. Uh, I'm actually thinking. Uh, hmm, uh, if do I want to connect? Uh, I'm actually thinking this will be unpassable terrain. So no big deal. The problem is I lose the dice. Uh, if I cancel it with my lucky charm, like do not do this, I would get the dice, but I didn't do that. Instead, I only have three dice, and I think let me let me think a bit. I think I'm gonna reroll all three of them. You always have one reroll that you can do per round. Ooh, okay, this is a two actually. So not not oh this is this was a three. Not a good roll really not a good roll but i'm gonna use this two to move here so i'm moving only one space a bit of a waste but i have a plan i'm gonna continue building a river <laughs> and totally forget on the village <laughs> although it's my goal so i'm gonna use the three to draw another river but i'm gonna draw it here okay that's another river explored. 
as you know, the moment you draw a terrain here, this number of points that you can get from the exploration is going to get duplicated. So now this is 8 multiplied by, by 2. So if I manage to fill this, I'm going to get 16 points. And I can draw one card, or I can use this to draw three. I'm actually just going to draw one. Okay, no diamonds. Then I'm going to draw a river again. I'm going to use this three, but this time I'm going to draw it here. As you, as <laughs> you already see my plan, I'm trying to, you know, make one big river here. Okay, another river explored. Good for me. I just need one more, and I'm going to get 16 points. And the end of the game. And that was that. Oh yeah, I need to draw a card. Ah, nothing. Ooh, so many clubs. Damn it. So this will make uh, oh, really hard for me to open this. But I just need one temple. Although, the more treasure I get, the more of these points I... Because treasure always give you a really hard amount, good amount of points. Alright, let's do... Two more rounds and then I'm gonna stop the video to not be too too uh, too long okay so we have a number two this will go here this will activate the curse now new change that I added is depending which number on the dice you roll that many of these uh, boxes you need to cross out I can choose to cross out any box I want but I need to cross out two well, hmm. If I cross out any of these, then I can say goodbye to to like six, eight, twelve, or sixteen. So I don't want to do that. So either sacred stones. Oof, that's all. But but will I be able to do sacred stones? Or I can cross this twenty or some. Well, you know what? Let's do the butterflies. So this is gone. The curse destroyed this. I will never get these 8 points from the Battlefly collection. Damn it. Alright. And also, dice is gone. Hmm. But... I need to... I need more rivers, but I need to... Now I need to get here to be able to... Or, oh wait! No, no, no. Let's stop with the rivers. Let's uh, do some villages. So I'm gonna use a 5. That's what I need, 5 or more. I'm gonna draw a village. Well, the only place I can draw is actually right now. Here's the one village, a little hut, and I discard one village. And now I can either draw one only one dice, or I can draw three. And for villages, we're looking for hearts, and there are kings here. And yeah, I think I'm gonna use this dice of three to draw three cards so I'm looking for hearts and no of course no hearts here damn it all right I still have a dice with one hmm let me think I think I'm gonna move into this village for that dice of one all right let's continue all right this will go two. I can draw mountain whenever I want. Hmm. Well, I think. Well, I hope that I'm gonna discover many mountains. So I'm gonna draw one mountain here. Okay, that's a mountain discovered. Because right now this is also multiplied by two, so I need to work on that. And I'm hoping to put one village maybe here or here, but I have to get there. Alright, so I can draw, uh, this is gone, I can draw either one card or many cards. I think I'm going to draw two cards. So, for the mountain we are looking for spades. Here's a spade, I can't use this. So, spades must go from lower to highest. Hmm. Well, this card is not good for me, so I wouldn't want to start my tableau with this, which means I can take it in my hand. And you know what? I'm gonna actually spend it immediately and buy one dice. 
Wow, what a bad roll. But I didn't use my reroll, so I'm gonna reroll these two. Eh, it's it's still not that good. Huh? But I think. Hmm, let me let me think a bit. Ooh. So if I spend these two and move on the track, on the event track, I can draw mountain anywhere on the map again. So let's draw one here. Another mountain and I right now I want to explore the mountains. And again I have can draw one or maybe five or three cards. Now I'm gonna just draw one. Looking for spades? No. Okay. Then this will be a bit of a waste but I think I need to do this. I'm gonna use a three and move one two three and then I'm gonna use a five because I'm on the river location. I'm gonna use and get another gold nugget. So now I have also eight points. All right let's do one more round and that's gonna be the end of the video. I can always continue this playthrough in the next video if you want to see the whole game well comment on the video please if you want to see the whole playthrough uh, oh wait wait where's my oh yeah one dice is missing and i'm gonna of course uh, make a full all right this six gonna be one two three four five six another curse well no not on my watch so i'm spending one lucky charm to cancel this curse which means now I can use this six and I really need it and I think I'm gonna reroll all of these dice oh Jesus not that not that good but I have a six but first I'm gonna spend one uh, to move here no actually I'm gonna spend this one to move on this so I can draw a river uh, anywhere I want and of course you know I want to draw one here. So I'm gonna probably connect the rivers. That's the sixth river I need, so I'm sure to get 16 points. Also, I can draw. Yeah, I'm gonna draw only one card. I'm looking for diamonds, no diamonds. Now, I'm gonna spend one and move here. Then I'm gonna spend four to draw another river. It's gonna be here. And finally I connected oh this one big river that's gonna be 14 points in the end of the game. Also I can draw a card or six cards. I'm gonna actually draw, just draw one. Alright, this is a good. This is good. I can place this into my already had three out of five cards to open up the the diamond temple. Nice. Now with this six I want to do some sacred stones or villages. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I I need sacred stones. So I'm gonna use this six to draw a sacred stone, and as you know, they need to be like have a line of sight. So for instance, I'm gonna draw one here. That's a sacred stone, and uh, like if I draw one here, they have a line of sight. Each of them would give me 5 points, so that could be 10 points. Or if I draw one here or here, they also can give me like 5 and one, I can get 15 points. As long as they have like, they are in the same column on the row. They don't need to be like a river connected, as long as they have like... A, so if you make like a, like a box, you can score like 20 points, because you will have 4 that have line of sight to each other. So 5, 5, 5, 5 and so on. Like they are like like making chains of them but what, what's also nice whenever you draw a card and I just discovered oh yeah I also have to cross this out uh, whenever you found the sacred stone you can draw a card and place it into any of your tableau you need so, it, so I, I can place it on the tableau for the clubs for the diamonds spades and I actually hope it's gonna be Oh, damn it, it's clubs. And the clubs needs to go from the lowest to higher, so this is like unusable for me. I mean, if I put a 10, 
then I need to place like four of the wild cards just to, you know, fill that. So I'm going to take this into my hand. All right. And I'm going to save this game so I can continue this playthrough later if you want to. You can see how the game goes when you know what you're doing. It's really fast. Uh, I play a few games today. I think every one lasted like around uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Just go really fast. You, you're filling st stuff up. And uh, yeah. This is a Forbidden Jungle, the roll and write that uses just this, you just need this piece of paper, need to get some dice, one uh, uh, deck of the regular deck of cards and you're ready to, to play this. If you, if you, I would really like some feedback, so the, the files are already posted on the BGG, on VIP thread, so you can download from there, play the game and tell me what you think and, you know, have some fun. In any case, uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you again.